When we talk about orange chicken, this is what I have in mind. It is delicious, and if you've ever had Chinese takeout, you know exactly what this tastes like. Now, it was brought to my attention that some Asian countries are using this instead. Fanta chicken. And today, we're going to find out if this is good or bad. Now, for today's experiment, I'm going to be using chicken breast. Now, the first thing I needed to do is to go ahead and cut up in small pieces. I was looking for about one inch cube. Once that was done, this is what I got. The important thing was to make sure that every piece was cut the same size. This way, they will cook even. In order to really find out if Fanta chicken is better than orange chicken, we're going to be splitting this thing in half. One I'll be cooking at the traditional version of orange chicken, and the other one will be the Fanta chicken. Don't ask me why, but for some reason, the ones from the bottles always taste better. And that is the one I'm going to be using for today's experiment. Now, the first thing to do is to go ahead and get the chicken seasoned. I first went in with some black pepper, followed by garlic powder, smoked paprika, and of course, salt. Once that was done, I dunked the whole thing in Fanta. Oh yes. I'll be honest with you. I've never thought I would be doing something like this. But since many of you requested and say that this is fantastic, I have to give it a try. But as of right now, this does not look very appetizing. So I threw everything into the sous vide bag, vacuum sealed it, and cooked it sous vide at 149 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. This will cook the chicken all the way through. Now for the more traditional version, this is how it's going to go down. I use the other half of the chicken. This one I seasoned with a good amount of salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper, garlic powder, and also smoked paprika. Mixed everything well to ensure all of them was fully seasoned. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and make a batter. So for that, I got some all-purpose flour, followed by cornstarch, and a tiny bit of baking soda. Mixed everything well and combined the dry ingredients. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and split this in half, because one, I'm going to be making a batter, and to do so, I just had to add some water. I kept adding water until I had the consistency of pancake batter, just like this. Not too thin and not too thick. Now, whenever I coat my chicken, I wanted to have nice little crevices. So for that, I learned a trick long time ago. That is to distribute a little bit of this batter on the flour mix we just made. You want to mix everything up and break up these little pieces, as these will stick to the chicken. After letting my chicken rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, you can see that the salt has penetrated deeply in there. The next thing to do is to go ahead and throw everything into some all-purpose flour. Yes, flour by itself, nothing else. The key here is to get a nice thin layer of coating of flour. Make sure to shake any excess as needed, because take a look. A nice thin layer is exactly what I was looking for. Now to finish up the breading, into the batter mix, I threw all of my chicken. Mixed all of it together to ensure that every single one got coated. Then into the flour mix, it went. Moved them around to ensure full coverage. As once I was done, I laid them down on a nice baking sheet. Now this is the fully raw chicken. However, we still have our Fanta chicken to go. And by this time, they were fully cooked. So I opened up the bag, laid them down on a cooling rack, and repeated the same exact process I did just right now. As now it was time to go outside and deep fry them. I first started with the raw chicken though. Threw them there nice and easy, kept the oil at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and cooked them until I got a nice golden brown color. And I'll be honest with you, in the end, I was left with nicely, perfectly deep fried chicken. Once I was done deep frying every single one of them, I started with the Fanta chicken. Now, I immediately noticed one big difference. I had to turn up the oil heat much more, because remember, the chicken is already fully cooked. I didn't want them to overcook. But in the end, this is what I was left with. Take a look at them side by side. We got the Fanta chicken on the left, and the raw chicken on the right. You tell me which one would you rather eat. However, in order to be orange chicken, it's not done yet, as we need a simple and easy sauce to make, and here's how. Into a skillet, I threw in some oil, followed by some garlic paste, ginger paste, and green onions. I want to cook this up for about one minute. Remember, everything here burns quite quickly, so I tried not to overdo it and kept it under low heat. As the next thing to do was to go ahead and add this incredible liquid mixture. And to make it, it is super easy, and here's how. Into a container, I threw in some chicken stock, followed by soy sauce, some medium, orange juice, and to finish it off, orange zest. Now mix everything together and that's it. Now as soon as I added that mixture, the only thing left to do was to go ahead and add two other ingredients. First was a good amount of sugar. This is up to your preference. Add as much sugar as you like, as the final ingredient is to add a little bit of sesame oil, then to reduce the sauce. I let it simmer for about two minutes, then I threw in some cornstarch slurry. Now all you have to do is to mix everything together and bring it to a simmer, and whenever you are happy with the consistency, taste for final seasoning, because once you have done so, the orange chicken sauce is now done. To finish this up, all we have to do is to throw it into the chicken, mix everything well and combine, lay it down on a plate, and finish it up with some sesame seeds. Now I have no idea which one is gonna taste better, the real orange chicken or the Fanta chicken. However, we are about to find out right now. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful 
chicken today, gentlemen. Yes. Chicken. Wait, what? I love chicken. Do you like go like, I crave chicken so bad. For chicken parm, yeah, I do that. What? <laughs> what? You? Not chicken, no. <laughs> I, I feel that way about steaks a lot. Chicken is very bland. It's very normal. You have it all the time. There's nothing special about chicken. That's what I said. You, If you have it all the time, like literally, you know, every day, every day, every single day. On the next day. And the next day. Day after day. And the next day. Then it becomes boring. But hopefully this one is not gonna be boring. Because huh? I wanted 2K to be in this video specifically. What is your favorite chicken from Panda Express? Orange chicken, hands down. You see? <laughs> is it fair to say that you're the chicken man? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. He's the chicken man, everybody. <laughs> What's your first video you ever appeared on? Everybody go check it out. Cereal deep fried chicken. Yeah, you're the chicken man, 2K. Chicken guy. So here's the deal. There's a little bit difference. This is orange chicken. Okay. Now, obviously, they both have the same exact sauce. There's only one ingredient that is slightly different than the other. So we're gonna go with this one here first. Naked or with the sauce? Let's go with the sauce. Okay. And then if we can't tell any difference, we'll go naked after. Okay, does it smell like? It smells like orange chicken, baby. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. This is way better than Panda Express. Duke, <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. That sauce is so good. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, a little bit deliciousness. The chicken is quite crispy. What do you have to say, description guy? <laughs> God, caught me off guard. I was getting ready to go into it. I wasn't expecting an intro like that. I was totally thrown off guard. Now I have to react. I really like this chicken here. I agree that it is better than a Panda Express one. The breading is nice and crunchy. What I like the most is the sauce. Sometimes from Panda Express, their orange chicken almost tastes like a little bit artificial. It tastes a little bit too sweet. They put some things in there that give it a little bit of an off flavor, but this tastes really like natural, really homemade, really delicious. It's just a kind of like more homey feeling. This one, the orange flavor is just a nice addition to the chicken. Also, I like the crispiness of it. Orange chicken from Panda Express sometimes is a little soggy, yep. mm -hmm. which I don't like most of the time, but this one blows it out of the water. That was good. That's our baseline. I want to know if the second one is going to be better, worse, or if there's a huge difference or not. Okay? okay? All right. All right. Let's enough. begin. Please. Notice the shape is completely different too. Yeah, they are a little different. These look more plump. These chickens look like brains. Maybe that's the experiment, Leo. No! You're lying to me right now. Let's find out right now. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Okay. There is a little something right at the back end of it. Yeah. I definitely feel like this one is sweeter compared yes. to the other one. It's not like crazy sweet. It's not like you're drinking sugar. Mm -mm. This one screams more like orange chicken to me than the last one we tried. I agree. This has more orangey flavor. flavor. Yeah. yeah. I have Isn't to that agree. weird? I want the audience to know like we say orangey flavor. I don't mean it tastes like orange. Like I don't mm, taste no. citrus in this. In my head, if I think of orange chicken, this chicken tastes more like orange chicken than that one. Yes. Believe it or not, I thought there was not going to be that much difference because when they suggested, I was like, come on, man, this is ridiculous. Uh -huh. What did they suggest? Right, here it is. <laughs> here it comes. Boys. So this one here and this one are exactly the same. The only difference is that this one was cooked first in Fanta. What? Why, why are you mad? I'm more mad at the fact that I liked it. <laughs> that's what I'm mad about. Yeah. Wow, that's super interesting. You don't get Fanta from it. Mm -hmm. Right. No, not at all. Cooked on the Fanta is slightly different. It has more orangey flavor. Yeah. Maybe it's because the artificial flavors of the orange soda, aka Fanta, but it's better. You guys were right. I was wrong because I didn't think this was going to do nothing. Anyway, guys, these are the results. Thank you for the suggestion. If you have some more, put it in the comments down below. We will definitely make it happen. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye.